So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to tell if you have a gopher, a mole, or a vole in your yard by what kind of mound it makes. And at the end of the video, I'll have a little quiz and you can test yourself and see if you have figured out how to tell the difference. This is a mole hill. If you'll notice, it's very dome shaped and you do cannot see any holes where the mole is coming or going because they're not. They're just underground at this point, piling up dirt. Here's another mole hill, smaller, but you'll notice it just looks like a mound. You cannot see any entrance. And here's another very small mole hill, it's just a round mound. Now this one is a gopher mound. If you can see there's a mound, but then it's not a complete nice volcanic-like mound. You can see here where the entry was, where they popped out of the hole. So it's not completely a round mound. We've got another one over here. See how it's not a nice mound? Right here you can see there was an entrance or exit. So that one is a gopher. Now this is more like what you'll see for a vole hole. Now voles don't actually make a mound like a gopher or a mole. They have more like a snakeish little pattern that they make in the yard. It's quite a bit different. And since I don't actually have a problem with voles, I don't have an example in my yard, but I'll pop a picture in here so you can see what I'm talking about. So voles are kind of like a field mouse and they do live underground like the gophers and the moles. Now gophers, you might find the hole, but it's often plugged up. Um, if they're actively feeding and stuff, their, their hole may be open because they're coming in and out of it to eat. Now gophers and voles are the two that eat plants. So they will damage your garden extensively if they get out of control. I have had experience where I did not want to harm the animals and I thought, well, I'll just plant extra, we can share. I literally got not a single carrot that year. They went through just like on a cartoon and pulled them down into their hole and ate everyone. Those were gophers. We don't really have a problem with voles here, but we do have a lot of gophers and moles. And then also when I went to dig up my potatoes, I think I got one mound's worth of potatoes out of three 50-foot rows. So it was a terrible mistake. Now moles on the other hand, they don't actually eat vegetation. They eat insects, worms, grubs, that sort of thing. So they can actually be really beneficial to your garden in that they can eat some of the pests. They can also eat the beneficial things like worms, but they're not gonna be eating the plants. Now personally, I don't worry about moles. I just let them be moles and do their thing. I don't have any problems at all in my garden. Sometimes they will dig a mound and disturb a row, but I don't, I don't worry about it. Gophers on the other hand, yeah, they gotta go. And I really think the best way to get rid of them, I hate to say it, but is by trapping them. They do make humane traps where you can try to live trap them, but they're really, really difficult to catch in a live trap. I mean, I really encourage you to try it if you can, but I have not had luck, and so we end up using just standard gopher traps and trap them as we find mounds anywhere around the garden or really anywhere in the yard. Same for voles. Voles also have to go. They can just cause a lot of damage, unfortunately. I'm going to be purchasing a gopher hawk trap this next week, and when we get some gophers, we'll see how it goes. Right now, to set the standard traps, you really have to dig up a, a chunk of ground in order to get the tunnels going both ways. And if it's in the middle of your garden, especially like in a row or a bed, it can cause a lot of damage. So be looking out for that review that'll be coming up as soon as we get gophers. All right, see if you can guess what this one is. Do you think it's a gopher or a mole? And then there's that one. I'll give you a clue. These are all from the same animal. Do you think they're a gopher or a mole? Okay, so that first mound was a gopher mound. It was asymmetrical. You couldn't, it wasn't like a nice volcano little mound. And those last three were, um, those were moles. We just mowed today and up popped those three mole mounds. 
So hopefully now you can distinguish between the two different kinds of mounds and just know that voles don't make their own mounds. They live in holes. Now currently we only have one mound, one area where we have a gopher and it hasn't been active lately. So I'm going to wait until we start seeing some active um, mound stuff happening and then we'll try to make a video to show you how to catch one. But this was just to try to show you the difference between the mounds so you kind of know what's going on underneath the ground. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, that's all I've got for today. So until next time, see ya.